Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on pseudo-obstruction. Pseudo-obstruction, also known as Ogilvy syndrome in the acute setting, is a disorder characterized by dilatation of the colon due to an adynamic bowel, in the absence of mechanical obstruction. The most common sites are the cecum, and the ascending colon. It is a rare condition but more commonly seen in elderly. For pathophysiology, it is thought to be due to an interruption of the autonomic nervous supply to the colon resulting in the absence of smooth muscle action in the bowel wall. There are a variety of causes of pseudo-obstruction. Electrolyte imbalance or endocrine disorders, such as hypercalcemia, hypothyroidism, or hypomagnesemia. Medications, like opioids, calcium channel blockers, or antidepressants. Recent surgery, severe illness, or trauma. Or neurological disease, which includes Parkinson's disease, multiple sclerosis, and Hirschsprung's disease. Most patients will present with the clinical features of mechanical bowel obstruction, abdominal pain, abdominal distension, constipation, and vomiting. However, vomiting is typically a late feature, due to the colon being most distal in the GI tract. On examination, the abdomen will be distended and tympanic, whilst often soft and non-tender. The presence of focal abdominal tenderness should be assessed. Focal tenderness indicates ischemia and is a key warning sign. The differential diagnosis are mechanical obstruction, paralytic ileus, and toxic megacolon. For investigations, blood tests should be performed to assess for biochemical or endocrine causes of pseudo-obstruction, including urea and electrolytes, calcium and magnesium levels, and thyroid function test. For imaging, plain abdominal films will show bowel distension, but this is unable to differentiate from mechanical obstruction. Patients presenting with features of pseudo-obstruction should undergo an abdominal pelvis CT scan with IV contrast. This will show dilatation of the colon, as well as definitively excluding a mechanical obstruction and assessing for any complications, such as perforation. Motility studies will often be required in the long term, and potential biopsy of the colon at colonoscopy. This picture shows a coronal view from a CT abdomen pelvis scan, demonstrating acute pseudo-obstruction. Most cases can be managed conservatively and do not require surgical intervention. Make patient nil by mouth and give IV fluids. Use NG tube for decompression if patient continues vomiting. In most cases of pseudo-obstruction that do not resolve within 24 to 48 hours, endoscopic decompression will be the mainstay of treatment. Review patient regularly to assess progression. Give nutritional support if necessary in recurrent cases. In the absence of perforation or ischemia, non-responding cases may require segmental resection, with or without anastomosis. However, unless all the affected areas are removed, this will not be curative. Alternative procedures can also be performed to decompress the bowel in the long term, such as cecostomy or ileostomy. That's all for this video. Thank you.